Hello everyone, it's Matt Mask Game here. Welcome back to more Epic Mickey. In the last episode, we went through the stretching room and we had to paint in a bunch of pictures, which was kind of a boring episode. But oh well. And in this episode, we're actually going to do something interesting and more platform worthy in the library. Um, so we're actually, I'm going to ignore this book right now because we'll find out why we need why there's floating books everywhere in a second. Uh, I want to be keeping this um, these sketches. Uh, we need to actually be using them in a minute, which is interesting, to say the least, because we never actually use uh, sketches. Which I hope in Epic Mickey 2 they actually get used more or get taken out of the game altogether, which would be nice. And we're actually going to speak to Madden Leona here. The chaos in my library must be stopped. The haunting is out of control. The ghosts disturbing the bookcases have sent many of my possessed books flying away. Oh goodness. First, you must seek out the broken skulls that have freed these spirits. Repair them all and the spirits will leave my bookcases. Good to know. Second, collect the filing fly away books that are still here in this room. I sent ghost Ian to Bog Easy to retrieve one of my books. I understand you have it. Return it to me and I will be generous. Give the book to Madame Leona. Ah. Uh, I have my book back, and I will understand. I will something with Ian. I will. Some, I don't know. I didn't have time to read it. Oh well. Regardless of that, restore my art collection. The paintings will have fallen into disarray. Oh goodness! So we have like three quests to do here, and plenty of different, different random things to be found also. So let us sort those things out. We are going to go. I know what we're going to do first. We're going to sort out these skulls first. So we're first going to sort out this bookcase here. Uh, you you don't want to die here, by the way. That is sort of a thing you do not want to do. Uh, which you can easily do by getting squashed by the bookcases. So, yeah. Okay. Just like we did in the other area. Just paint into the skull like I did there. There are still two skulls to restore, Mickey. Okay, I will do those. I will do this one first, because this one is easier. Or is it though, actually? You do need to use one of these clocks to do it. So, wait for all these to sort of be done, and then quickly get over to the other side. Don't have to go too quickly, actually. I was, I was too fast, which is quite, quite ironic. And there's actually a book here, but I'm going to collect the books afterwards. So, after we've done each quest, so we want to press this switch, and that will close all of the books. Not bo yeah, bookcases even, not just one book. And that will also unlock this skull. It'll only give us 10 seconds to get there, so we have to be quick. Which I don't think I will be because of the hole. Oh no, I'll be fine. Okay, quickly, quickly, paint this in, paint this in, paint this in. Oh goodness, I did in time. Oh man. That's good. And for doing that, that would get rid of the poltergeists. Or whatever you prefer to call them. And then we'll get rid of the bookcases. So we actually go upstairs. But I won't do that yet because I'll probably fall and die. So we're going to sort out the skulls first because that is probably our main our main sort of objective here, I believe, if you just sort out the skulls that will unlock the next area. Well you can actually talk to these guys, you can kill them if you want, but don't. The mad doctor fellow once had the ear of Oswald himself, but no longer. Interesting. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But, um... The ear of Oswald, but no longer. Interesting. Okay, then. Not really, though. Uh, oh, dear, fell. That's good. Good start. Can I sort of paint thinner these out? Oh, I can. Is there anything behind them? Uh, oh, there is. There is? What is this place? <gasps> it's got the first Donald piece. I forgot it was here. Good job I uh, I did that. I know that I haven't missed any yet, but uh, I I didn't I forgot that that was there. I knew there was a pin to find here, but uh, I did not know that Donald I forgot from the practice session that was yesterday. So that's good to know that I forgot something from something we did yesterday. That would be good to know in the future for myself when I forget other things. Forgetting things is not a good thing. I mean, you can see behind this in the cracked bookcase here that there is a skull to be had. Which will get rid of 
these nasty bookcases. Oh dear. Sorry. <laughs> I got pretty freaked out there. So, what is there any like monsters in there? Oh no, there's one of these books actually. We don't want to sort out these books. We actually uh, sort out these books pretty soon. Quite easily, actually. Oh dear. Am I? Oh dear, no! Oh! Okay, so I am now back again to this point. Uh, I might actually need to do a close up so I can see this slightly better. Probably actually want to use one of the sketches now. But um, I was hoping it I wouldn't come to that. But I actually did the, the first thing I did, um, you know, with the one with the bookcases where you have to um, run past them when they collapse. I actually did that without using one of the clocks just then, because you have to redo them all if you die, which isn't isn't the best, but, you know, whatever. Actually, that was the third and final one that we needed to do. And we actually found a door, in quotations, not technically a door, but a fireplace thing. And well done, the spirits have returned to the skulls, so we need to speak to her. If you don't speak to her, then you have to do it all over again, which is great. But once you do speak to her, then they'll all be collapsed for good, which is good. We can actually speak to this gremlin here. Well, aren't you helpful? For a price, I can help you out as well. I'll cut off a deal. Give me 50 e-tickets, and I'll round up those flying books for you. I did this last time. Those books can be annoying. You have to, like, uh, when you get to, like, the top area, you have to paint them in and then go back down. It just takes too long to do this. You should have 50 tickets. If you don't, you haven't been to Lonesome Manor yet, definitely grind up for probably about 150 e-tickets. Because you'll need 100 later. We don't need 100 later on, but that also helps. There you go, it was easy. I'm an excellent something. An excellent liar, I think that says. I have a special pin for the one that's shares my love of books. Return to me and it's yours. Oh, good. Catch flying books? Sure. I caught the flying books. Yeah. Sure I did. We actually speak to this guy. I haven't actually be spoke to him before. Be cautious. Anything in the manor may be possessed by spirit at any time. Oh goodness. Uh, like you, I suppose. <laughs> but uh, I wasn't actually expecting him to say that. I must have actually spoke to him before then. But if you actually break one of these guys, uh, for the rest of the game, that not for the rest of the game, for the rest of the manor, they go, I know you destroyed one of us, which is kind of creepy, but not at the same time because they're, you know, just um, busts, so whatever. And you speak to her, have you been busy, mouse? You have called on my flying books? Thank you. Here, have this silver pin for your troubles. Sweet, where'd you get two pins, I believe? Uh, we get another pin in a second. So we have to speak to Ian later on in Boggeasy. Please give him my regards when you return to Boggeasy. You have come to my Rifter's bookcase. Yes, I have. So that will actually unlock this area. But once it does actually unlock this area, there will be a, a slobber. Oh, goodness. But um, she will actually, because we've helped other people in the past, she'll actually destroy it for us. <laughs> which is pretty sweet. Although, she does kill it though, which makes me kind of sad. I want I want it to be my friend. But, whatever. Let's actually collect some things to heal us up. Uh, next, we'll probably want to sort out these paintings. So, we actually have to thinner these paintings out to, you know, help them, I suppose. But they need to be at the right angle. So, because, you know, it's not supposed to go at an angle. No, it's not. I mean, we can fix these ones here as well. I thought these might have been references to things, but not really. I feel a bit disappointed. I feel like they could have done a reference to things besides Steamboat Willie in this game. I don't know, like Aladdin or something. But they might have not got the rights for it. That's always a thing. You need the right rights to uh, to do that sort of stuff. Get it? It's a pun. Oh, the right rights. Oh, goodness. Right, can I actually spin this gear here? No. This took me a while to work this out. I went everywhere, seeing if there was a gremlin or something that did it for you. But no. Whatever. I believe that's all of them now. Oh, we've got a uh, uh, chest here. Can, oh, ah, see? Got some e-tickets there, so I think you can just break the busts and things. You can probably get some e-tickets with those. 
for the books, because really, do not try and find those books. I've done it before, and... Ah, uh, that's all I have to say. Not the funnest thing of all. Anyway, speak to her again. Actually, we didn't get one for painting, did we? I think we get a pin for, uh... For the paintings. May not look like it yet, but there we are. The Art Appreciator pin. It's more like an achievement, those sort of pins. But not really, though, because you don't get them for jumping a million times or something like some strange Xbox. <laughs> Note to self, do not make fun of Xbox. Um, some sort of Xbox achievement. Jump a million times. Epic Mickey. A million times actually may take a while. So, yeah. Oh dear, it's gonna make me fall. And there's another one on the other side. That's good. I'm gonna just spin you off, I think. Might be easier. And there is another one here, but I can't seem to hit him from the angle on that. Oh dear! Don't do that, please. Don't do that, please. I'd rather get hit than, uh... Ooh, than fall. Oh no, I fell! Oh! Oh, well, now I've got this sweeper to attend to. Wonderful. Goodness. Is there anything that I can heal up on, or... or what do I do? What do I do? I don't know what I can do with that other guy. I can use one of my, uh, my guardians to sort him out. That is a good idea. Didn't think of that yesterday. I died yesterday to that, uh, to that guy. I didn't actually need to. Sweeper, that's what it's called. It's called a sweeper. So that's is what I'm going to do once I get to the top. Make all this back in. And get this one. And where is he? There he is. Thank you. <laughs> Sweet. So now we've done that. Get through here. And oh, there's another one. Let's jump over to the other side. Oh, and oh no, I fell again. Oh. Oh. I kind of want him to kill him. So then I can. You kill him, please. Then maybe he'll drop a heart, maybe? Maybe? Oh. Only just a one. Just a one. I was hoping, I was hoping for a full heal. Or maybe one that gives you like three heals. I don't know what you can sometimes get like a rare rare drop where you get more more health, but alas not here. So here we are back again to sort out these these um banisters. What are these things called at the top of roofs? I don't know. I don't know. Oh well. Hop over here, we'll save this gremlin, and also- Oh dear, there's a gap there! Oh dear, that's probably where I fell down last time. And ah, oh, that's better, see that was like a three hill. Mickey Mouse still seem looks a bit concerned, but you know, I'm not. I'm as happy, happy as something that is happy. I don't know, I can't think of anything that's happy. <laughs> that's good to know. Many thanks, fellas. There's only one of me, but, you know, whatever. I promise to return the favour somewhere down the line. Oh, I suppose he might be talking about Gus. I didn't think of that. For now, if you need to stay out of Leona's sight. Oh, I need to. Not me. No, not me. I mean, this gremlin does. That's what he said. For now, I need to stay out of Leona's sight. Yes, she doesn't care much for me. See you soon. I'm sure I will, Mr. Gremlin. I'm sure I will. Very funny. Funny things, gremlins. Because they can be quite nasty occasionally. Like, uh, we're one, we're, we meet one later on. I suppose he's not actually nasty, actually, when I come to think of it. But whatever. He's actually, he's actually sort of a bit annoying. But you know, we'll we see him, we we'll see him later on. Anyway, back here, we're actually going to find. Oh, no, another sweeper. That's good. It's good we just love our sweepers. Well, the mad doctor does, at least. Thinner this, not thinner, paint this guy. Oh, ouch, what was that? Oh, it was one of these splodouches. That's good to know. So let's paint this splodouche. 
I feel like I say thinner more than more than paint. Actually, I've just noticed. I'm going to paint this one in as well. So now they're all going to rest forever, I suppose. And we can get this chest, which will have an axe. It's an axe. I I I axed this axe. No. Anyway, this is the the axe that Horace wanted us to get, which is good. So now we have that. We are... Well, I think we're done with this area, aren't we? I don't know if it saved the Donnell piece, so you'd better check that first. Uh, I, apparently, even though it took me forever to paint, paint all those things, it didn't count because I didn't speak to him again. Or it didn't save or something, so that's annoying. Uh, what about this one? Did we get... Yeah, we did get the foot. That's good. I still don't know where this is, though. This is annoying. I'm, I'm worried that I missed it. But uh, I, can't, I don't see where I could have, though. Because there was the lobby. It must be in the next area. I think I know where it is, because there was one bit I couldn't do because I messed it up. Uh, so, yeah. So, I suppose we're going to do that in the next episode. Can I jump back to here so I can paint this, this cobweb in again? Because even though, even though I am helpful, I am also mean because I get people to have to dust their own houses. I'm not going to dust them for you. I'm not housekeeping. Just speak to Leona one more time, just in case. I didn't, know, I didn't, I didn't mention that she's a floating head in a crystal. By the way, nope, I am done apparently. So yeah, how long has this episode been? Uh, this, the next area isn't actually all that long, so I think I might just leave it here. So thank you for watching this episode of Mickey. In the next episode, what will we be doing the next episode? Uh, we will be going to. The ballroom. Yes. So I suppose I will see you guys then. Actually, was in the ballroom. I don't know. See you guys then.